Michael, that you have given us some little time for your uh, for an interview with us. Um, please allow me to give you a special new name. Um, I saw the first time you're playing with a double guitar, with a yes, double X. Double neck. Double neck. Yeah. And uh, so I have firstly to ask, do you have to write a, a, a song, new and old one from you? Uh, the return of the X-Men. Is it the new version, the return of the double X-Men? <laughs> yeah, double X-Men. <laughs> yeah. Uh, wh what, uh, how did you, uh, what was the idea to have a double uh, guitar in the concert? I a second neck to, to, if you have a, in order to um, do one thing on one neck and another thing on the other, okay. that doesn't work on the bottom neck. But uh, is it very difficult to play with the two necks? More difficult. It is very difficult to to make it an out to make the coordination an automatic pilot. It's the switching around and knowing what switch goes where, you know. But I, you know, rehearsed it over and over, and so it's becoming now easier to do. In the beginning, it was hell. <laughs> okay, thank you. Um, your actual album is called Spirit on a Mission. Um, and uh, many of the fans already saw about uh, some informations about it. I want to go to make a combination between the beginning of your career and uh, the middle and now. And because I think your spirit was coming back, as you said, I think, in one interview. Um, do you have sometimes the feeling that you are back in the early 70s, Lonesome Crow, and that spirit kind no, of... Lonesome Crow. Early spirit, like, you know, you beginning of UFO, UFO. as a 19-year-old, as a you know, I'm back into, or, or you know, anything that, um, yeah, maybe even like Lonesome Crow. I mean, basically, I have the feeling as if my filing system has gone uh, 360, deg I mean, or whatever, uh, uh, is, is back to, where it was 40 years ago. Okay. And so, but, but basically what I feel is, what happened to me, my life design looks like I was there in the beginning unconsciously making a co musical contribution to the world created in the 70s for the 80s. I didn't know that, mm -hmm. but because people telling me that you know, my brother was calling me from America in the 80s. Michael, they're all playing your guitar style. I said, no way, wow. And then I hear that Metallica and, and Guns N' Roses and, and Iron Maiden and all of these bands. So Kermit was uh, a TV show. With yeah, they are fans. Yeah. And so basically that's, if I'm looking back now, I can see, clear, I can see clearly what happened because I was just being fascinated playing, having fun playing guitar. That, that is my passion. The fascination with a single string and the distortion, best way to e express yourself with all these different ways you can operate a guitar. And then in the middle years was the years of, um, you know, experimenting with music and developing on a personal level as well. And now in the, in the, in the third part of my life, I am. Um, um, I can now consciously enjoy what I unconsciously developed in the beginning, okay. but there had to be that middle part in the in the, in the middle for you know um, experimenting with music and also to develop on a personal level, and that was in my third part. It sometimes feels like I was preserved for that third part to be there in the beginning and to be there in the third part. And over the years, when I helped the Scorpions to, uh, with Love Drive because my tears wasn't ready to do it, um, I was um, basically opening the doors for the Scorpions. UFO was already a, an arena band in the late 70s. and. Uh, and the Scorpions hadn't opened the market in America yet. So when I left UFO and Rudolf found out about it and he asked me if I could help out, I asked him to send me the tapes and see what I can do. And when I finished my job, they were also happy. They, they, you know, they wanted me to be in the band. And I'm, by the way, six and a half years younger than them. So I'm just like that little boy that can be in easily manipulated. Um, I, I wrote basically all of Lonesome Crow, yes. and, 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 but I shared it with everybody, you know, and so, uh, well, Klaus and myself, 
and basically that was uh, when Klaus and I was in Copernicus that was the very that was that was already the scorpions then basically mm -hmm. because it was Klaus and myself already at, at that point but you know I just have been a helping hand for the scorpions mm -hmm. also for you of all I just see myself as a as a um, what you call it as a as a jump starter yeah. okay. I, I, I jump start something yeah. and then yeah. it goes its own way and then whatever you know and but anyway I, I helped out my brother wanted the black and white guitar to fool the people and making them think it's it's, it's still me which I figure out now you know I was always wondering why he wanted to play the black and white guitar and uh, but uh, you know the scorpions doing the scorpions box, and I only found out after all these years because I never looked at the credits. I was happy to be away from the scorpions to be free and do my own thing. So I never actually found out that that the whole love drive story is completely untrue. It's not the true love drive story, you know. And uh, and also um, I found out that they never credited me for the beginning of holiday. I wrote the beginning of holiday and I played the beginning of holiday. I never see any credits. So it's very disrespectful and I'm very disappointed in the Scorpions. I'm only finding it out now. And then I gave my brother um, as a present, he asked me if he could have Coast to Coast all for himself. Yeah. Uh, I wrote all the melodies yeah. and I played the lead and, and yeah. basically he just came up with the rhythm riff yeah. and I made it an instrumental. Yeah. And, uh, but but um, that is, um, you know, that's the thanks you get. It's like you give him something and you give a little finger and he takes the whole thing. Then he makes that whole black and white image, his image. And it's just, it's just I'm disgusted by this way of, of behavior because it just, it, it, it's completely disrespectful. You don't have to run after your rights. Person gives you the rights. You don't, you don't lie and cheat to get famous, you know. You do, you do it with the music, you yeah. know. You just yeah. be yourself. You don't have to fabricate anything. Anyway, it stinks and, and I, you know, I don't want to go there. It, it's, uh, anyway, I, I opened the doors for Love Tribe and then they carried on. I did my, my own thing. Yeah, and wonderful no, things, hmm? wonderful things all the time. You did always very, very good songs. Pardon? You did always very, very good songs. I said, oh, unique. Well, you know, I, I, I am a, I'm an artist, I'm a musician, and, mm. and I write from within. I have stayed away from copying music since I was 17, the opposite of what Rudolf does. He copies everything, and then I lis didn't listen to music for 43 years, and uh, so my music is not to become rich and famous, I just love to play music. And, uh, 70 years... So I don't have to yeah. care about the trend too much, I can do my own thing. 70 years ago, 17 years ago, here in local Freiburg, where we are now, I was working at the radio station and the number one song of the year, the comeback, was In Search of the Peace of Mind from... Yeah. Uh, it's my very first song yeah. I wrote. It's one of the best. And Klaus yeah. is the one who wrote the lyrics and he, the words he used, yeah. it's, it's almost like it's predestined. In Search of Peace of Mind, that has to be my life. In Search of Peace of Mind has been my life and Klaus wrote those words. How, how, how did this come about? Unbelievable. And it's the first song I ever wrote. You know? Please Amazing. allow me one more question about your composition. Um, I remarked that you, if you're looking at all your songs, uh, there are in all the years and episodes, you have some songs where in, within, in the song, you have a slow part, a, a middle uh, part, a, a slowly part and a fast part. Uh, for example, like in uh, in the search of peace of mind, you begin very slowly, and then uh, guitar. And uh, is it a kind of uh, uh, origin from Michael that he likes? No, it's just being yourself. Okay. It is how that's how you like it. Uh, okay. It's okay. like picking colors. That that's how I like it. Okay. Okay. And uh, last question: You you told me in one interview before that you composed uh, Captain Nemo, where one side of the guitar was Yeah, one string off. was off, yeah, and yeah, I didn't yeah. want to stop playing, yeah, yeah. so yeah. I came up with that thing. That was kind of interesting. Did you, did you ever change a song after you began with a, or only on the guitar, and when you put it in the amp, you heard that you have to change a little no, bit? It, it, I took the guitar, it, the string broke straight away, but I wanted to play, so I made something out of the situation. Okay. I, I, I used the circumstance to yeah. carry on and, and something different came out of it. And a wonderful thing, even Coast to Coast is a song, it's a symphony, a symphony for millions of people. So, um, 
And now you are going to France at the this yeah. nearly the end of the year and the tour. And uh, I think you said in the interview before uh, that the France people were very refreshed when you was there some month before. So. Do you like France very much? Do you have? Hmm? Uh, do you like France very I much? I love. I love. I love my fans. <laughs> okay. You know, has nothing to do with countries. Yeah. I have fans in every, every country, country. Yeah. and I play for those people. Uh -huh. I play for my fans, and I play for the people that love to hear what I have to offer. Uh -huh. okay. So, what is a be better message than that at the end? Yep. Thank you. So Thank much. you very much. Thank you very much, and good luck. Ouch. <laughs>